I'm so thirsty. This is the final result. You can always count on Cash to be next to me. This is gonna wrap up meal number two. I'm gonna call it a taco salad. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know that it has been a fat ass minute since you guys have seen me on the tubes, but I'm here, I'm back. I should be consistent moving forward. Today's video is gonna be seven quick, healthy meals. These are my staple meals. I eat them a lot and I switch between them throughout the week. Before we get started on today's video though, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell button next to the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every single time I post a new video. And with that being said, let's just roll the clips. Hi besties! So we're gonna be making the first meal which is gonna be chicken and chile verde with red rice and some veggies. Okay, so I already diced up the chicken that I'm gonna be using. Now, I'm gonna make the sauce for the chicken, which is basically the chile verde. So I roasted some tomatillos, serranos, jalapenos, and a little bit of an onion. Now I'm gonna put all of this in the blender. So now that I have all the stuff that I roasted in the blender, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cilantro to the blender, some garlic, some water, some nor, some oregano, a little bit of cumin. On to the sides, I'm gonna be making some rice. I'm boiling two cups of water. Now that the water is boiling, we're gonna put in the rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce because I'm gonna be making red rice. Let me see, let me see what color it is. Okay, could use a little bit more. I don't know, I can kind of just like tell by the color. Okay, I'm also gonna be putting this in there. Now that I put all the ingredients in the rice, I'm gonna put the lid on it and then just let it cook for a couple more minutes. Okay, now that the chicken is almost done cooking, I'm gonna pour the sauce in the chicken. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. Now we're gonna make the last side, which is broccolini. We're gonna be adding red chili flakes, salt, and some lemon pepper. Once you have all the seasonings on the broccolini, you're gonna throw it in the oven. I like to put the broccolini on broil. And with broil, you just have to keep watching it because they could burn really easy. Okay, and this is the final result. Now let's try it. Hi guys, okay, so for meal number two, we're gonna be making chicken salad. First things first is boil your chicken. I boiled mine for about 45 minutes. Once your chicken is boiled, you can put it like in a bowl and shred your chicken. I use a cake mixer to shred the chicken. I just feel like it's easier. These are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for the chicken salad, we have some carrots, onion, corn, lettuce, and some pickled jalapenos. And for this, you can't forget the mayonnaise. I personally like light mayonnaise, so now I'm gonna chop all this up. So here is the shredded chicken. By the way, say hi guys. Okay, I'm also gonna put a little bit of the juice in here. I'm gonna be seasoning the chicken salad with mayo, salt, pepper, and some lemon pepper. I went ahead and I toasted this bread. This is Dave's Killer Bagel, so it has um, eight grams of protein for these two slices of bread. And then here is my chicken salad. I am obsessed with chicken salad, like it tastes so good. And by the way, you can use this exact same recipe, but you can also use it with tuna. This is gonna wrap up meal number two. <coughs> I'm so thirsty. 
Hi besties, welcome to another day. So, for today's meal, we're gonna be cooking my, one of my favorite meals, I would say, honestly. Which is ground turkey with rice and vegetables of your choice. And for this week, well not this week, even I would say like the past two weeks, the vegetable of choice around here has been broccolini. I'm just freaking obsessed with broccolini. I went ahead and I diced up some serranos, some onion, and some tomato. This is what I'm going to add to my meat to give it some flavor, cause we are cooking ground turkey and it is a 93% lean, seven fat. I feel like a lot of people always tell me that ground turkey tastes weird, but I think it tastes so good. Like I think it tastes kind of like the same, honestly. I guess it's the way I season it. So let's get started. I went ahead and put a little bit of oil on a pan. For now, I'm only gonna put the jalapenos and the onion. We're gonna let the meat cook for a little bit. Now we're gonna move on to side number two. Okay, so we're gonna be making some white rice. Um, I personally use the five minute rice, and all you do is literally boil water. Once the water is boiled, then you throw in your rice. And it's one cup of water for one cup of rice. So I'm gonna be making two cups of rice. So I'm gonna put this water in the pan so that it can start boiling. So I always cook it on low to medium um, heat. I don't cook it on high heat, because then it like dries out the meat. This is tonight's outcome. We got the broccolini, a little roasted, the ground turkey with onion, jalapeno, and tomatoes, and then some white rice. I also like putting Cholula on the meat. I think it tastes so good. For meal number four, we're gonna be making some tuna. So I like to use this kind of tuna. I like take out all the juice from this and then um, start making it. These are the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. Onion, tomato, uh, pickled jalapenos, some corn, some lettuce, some light mayo. And we're also gonna be using some of the juice from the pickled jalapenos. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Chris recording the dot. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, anything's like you want to say, like you close it out for real? Oh, no. Um, wait, I'll... but you gotta like do your hair. <laughs> Give me the bread because I need one bread. Should I, should I do one bread or two breads? Camera action. Say something. Welcome to the gun show. You look big. <laughs> okay. This is meal number four. I also added Dave's Killer Bagels. Um, and these do have protein in them. Each bread is four grams of protein. So this is eight grams of protein. And then the tuna is 24 grams of protein. And then of course, I had to add some pickles because I love pickles. Hello guys, welcome to the gun show. 
Welcome back to another day. This is meal number six. For today's meal, we're gonna be making a taco salad. It's super easy, super fast, and you are gonna love it. Let me show you what we got going on at the moment. You're gonna need some ground beef and some rice, and then any veggies you would like to use in your salad. So we do minute rice in this household. So for the minute rice, you guys already know, you just boil water. Once the water is boiled, you throw in the rice. So water is boiling, you're gonna throw in the rice and we're gonna be making red rice. So for the red rice, we're gonna be using this, some tomato sauce and some salt. And then we got Danny um, cooking the meat in the back. And I guess you can cook the meat to your liking. We'd be adding a lot of seasoning. On this rice, I'd like it to be a little bit more red. <laughs> Once you have all that, you're gonna put the lid on it and then turn it off and just let it finish cooking. Okay, we'll be back once this is done cooking. For now, I'm gonna chop up the lettuce. Okay, I lied. We're actually gonna, gonna be making a creamy avocado lime dressing to go with the salad first. So I put a whole avocado in there. We're gonna be putting some garlic, some Cilantro. Now, we are gonna serve everything up. No cash. Da, 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 da. Danny says this isn't a taco salad, but whatever this is, I'm gonna call it a taco salad. Or like maybe a chipotle bowl, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. This is the end result, super easy to make. Super fast, super yummy. Welcome back. This one is gonna be tilapia with mashed potatoes and then a side salad. For the mashed potatoes, we just chopped up two potatoes and we're gonna let that boil till they're soft. It's so much butter. Huh? I mean, it's so much water. No, you're done? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I told you it was a lot of water, bro. Let me see. Oh yeah, no, but wait, I'm on the side. <laughs> 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 no, just put it back in the stove. Take a second, evaporate. If not, you throw it out, you're gonna take out the shit, man. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, just to clarify, I was cooking and Danny was on the other side, and then he said to leave the water in the mashed potatoes, and I was like, bro, because usually he makes the mashed potatoes. 
And I'm like, bro, that's way too much water. And you guys heard him. He was having a fit. He said to make his on the side. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna make it with a lot of water. Like if he makes it like that, then fuck it. We got a soup. So right now we have that on high so that, that can evaporate. Now we're gonna make now we're gonna make the tilapia. We're gonna season with pepper. A lemon pepper, of course. Chicken fajita seasoning. Now, I actually put a little bit too much olive oil, but now we're gonna be cooking the tilapia. Waiting for the water to evaporate on that. Okay, so this is the chopped lettuce from earlier today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up a cucumber, a tomato, and some carrots for the salad. And this is it, and quick and easy. Literally the longest thing that took, the longest thing that took <laughs> was the mashed potatoes because we had to boil them and stuff, but that is it. You can always count on Cash to be next to me. Hi guys, so we are finally about to finish the seven meals today. For today's meal, I'm gonna be making chicken breast with some potatoes and some squash. So let's get started because I am freaking hungry. Okay, so I have my potatoes and my chicken here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the potatoes first and start cooking the potatoes because I feel like the potatoes might take a little bit longer to make and then we'll season our chicken as soon as I'm done. I'm using this spray for the potatoes, extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil. Okay, so for today's seasonings, we're gonna be using pink Himalayan salt, lemon pepper, ranch seasoning. By the way, if you guys are not using ranch seasoning on your chicken, what are you doing? You are missing out. And some black pepper. So I got the chicken and the potatoes cooking. Okay, and now you serve it. Danny likes to do his with this mango habanero sauce, but I like to do it with Frank's Red, and I'm eating 126 grams of protein. I like to do it with this one. And this is the plate. I do like to have it with this barbecue sauce. Loki does have like a little spice to it, but it's super good. So I'll pour that on the side. But yeah, this is the meal. Okay, it's smelling kind of spicy. I think because Danny like had his mango habanero and then I put my chicken over it. Hopefully it's not hot because mango habanero will be fucking hot. And this is gonna conclude the vlog. It was my first time kind of doing this type of video. So let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if I should go slower in details. 
um, or let me know if you guys like this pace because I had some people on live the other day and they were telling me that they like fast recipe videos because then they get really bored. So, let me know how you guys like this video and with that being said, I'm gonna eat my dinner and I will catch you guys on my next vlog. Bye guys!